YouTube, we back, man. I know it's been like nine, ten days. I know you guys miss me, but we back. We back for another video. And bro, I'm excited for this burn meta or this burn team. You guys know who it is. Was it 1.7 Isolde? Bro, I can't say her name properly, but bro, I gotta prepare for this meta. And the teams are gonna be so lit. Well, at least the team I want to run. And you have her ult until blood floods the throat. It's kind of mod still. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's kind of crazy, but it's a mass debuff and it inflicts five stacks of burns on all enemies and five additional stacks of burn on the main target. Okay, crazy. Gives one stack of rousing moral to all allies. Cast intermezzo and for each one additional stack of burn on the main target for the cast, intermezzo incantation might plus 15%. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Solid, I'm not gonna lie to you. Rousing moral. So when the caster attacks, damage bonus plus 50%. Minus one stat after trigger, okay? Burn. Healing received by the carrier is reduced by 15%. At the end of the round, each stack, max 30 of burn, will cause the target affected to suffer genesis damage equal to percentage of their own attack. Wow. After each round ends, half the burn stacks will be consumed. Multiple stacks of burn are considered as one? Really? It's a negative status? Okay, intermezzo 50% reality damage. If the target is affected with burn, each stack of burn will cause an additional 10% reality damage. Uh, okay, all right, that's all I need to hear. Okay, yep, yep, summon. Enemies can't heal like that and they're taking a bunch of damage. Bro, I didn't need to hear anything else. You know I like my supports, right? Okay, the swelling humming. Sounds like a solid move, but this one is a mass debuff or it's a mass attack and it deals 150% reality damage to two targets and inflicts two stacks of burn on them. When introduced status, the penetration rate of this attack is increased by 30%. Solid. And when in finale status, the penetration rate of this attack is increased by 50%. Bro, how do you guys not love support? Supports are the best units in the game. That's all you need. And obviously with the incantation or the more stars you get, it does 225 damage and 300 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we work towards, you know what I mean? And interlude at the beginning of the round, gain three stacks of pre-ignition and when the number of burn stacks is in an enemy six or higher releases intermezzo and it cannot be dispelled bro that's damage on top of damage and then finale at the beginning of the round all allies gain three stacks of pre-ignition and one stack of burst of strength and if an enemy has six or more stacks of burn releases intermezzo and the power of this attack 15 percent bro bro you take damage you take damage bro you're hitting like a truck with this girl on your team yep bro this if this is a reason to summon bro if you guys want to see high damage outputs you need units like this and that's why i recommend getting her 1.7 it is a little while but invest invest i'm telling you we need to invest in her because she's she's definitely worth it man and she still has one more attack bro freedom of will it's a mass debuff and critical defense minus 25 percent and reality defense minus 15 percent for all enemies lasting two rounds and if this target is burned reality defense minus 20 percent instead bro <laughs> bro and she can be used on any team turn me up Bro, nah, I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I have a perfect pairing for her. And you know who it is. I'm guessing you guys know who it is. I'll talk about her next. But she's coming on the next patch. Yeah, yeah, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we go talk about her insights. Okay, and insight one. When starting combat, enter a prelude. Inflicts three stacks or three burns on all enemies. And at the end of the round, with the enemy with the highest amount of burns loses stacks, gains the same number of heat as the lost amount of burn. When heat reaches 15, enters introduce status. And you guys already know about that. Come on, man. When entering battle, attack plus 5%. That's simple. That's basic. You guys are going to get a die 3 anyways. When heat reaches 40, interlude turns into finale status. And you guys already know about finale status. Bro, not more needs to be said. This girl is amazing. Bro, she's actually amazing. And for portraits, you know, for you whales out there, at 1... Okay, additional reality damage caused to enemies under the burn status increases to 13% solid. The amount of heat required to interlude status changes to 10. The amount required to advance from interlude to finale status changes to 30. And then additional reality damage caused to enemies under the burn status increases to 16%. Okay. At 1, 2, 3 stars, reality damage caused becomes 200, 300, 400, and 5. Additional reality damage caused to enemy under the burn. Okay, like, I guess so. There's no psych cubes right now, but you guys know I'm gonna have a psych cube for you. But for portraits, she does really well without portraits. Honestly, like I said, everything in this game just amplifies other things. So you don't really need portraits, but if you're gonna go get portraits, stop at what two? So like that's 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 bread and butter. And yep, y'all see who's next? Basidius. I was gonna skip, but bro, I can't. I can't. What is this? Flame within the fire. It's a one target attack and deals 700 reality damage. This attack's critical damage is increased by 40%. If the target carries 15 stacks or more burn, the critical damage is increased by additional 40%. And y'all know who gives a bunch of burn, right? Okay. Yep. Little boxer. This is a one target attack and it deals 200 reality damage. And if the caster has the pre ignition status, the critical damage of this attack will be increased by 40%. Bro. Who? Bro. They just mesh so well together. Like, it makes no sense not to pair them together. 
They're like LeBron and Dwayne Wade or Shaq and Kobe or even peanut butter and jelly, you know what I mean? And this is her next attack and it's a self buff and it grants three stacks of uh, pre-ignition, two stacks of exhilaration and one stack of precast ignition point one. And like I said, two level two is six and level three is nine stacks, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. She's she's kind of tough still. Like I know she is good in her own like her own words. Like she is really good. I was gonna skip it, but bro, seeing 1.7 made me not want to skip it. And if I skipped her and then I seen 1.7, I'd be sick right now. That's all I can tell you. I'd be sick. Sorry, right, couldn't do it. I'm not saying she only works with Spazadius. There's other DPSs you can use. She can make a lot of people hit hard, but Spazadius is who I want to see because she works really well with the burn mechanic. So, but honestly, there's so much going on. I still got to prepare for six. Um, like I said, the next patch, which is Spazadius and uh, Ezra. Oh, not even, yeah, it is Ezra. Let's get into Spazadius' inside real quick though. When an attack inflicts burn status, the next attack will have a critical rate increase by 25%. When entering combat, deals damage or damage dealt is increased by 8%, which is always good. And her I3, when a single target attack lens a critical hit four stacks of burn will be inflicted on the target yep okay bro bro what else do i gotta say for you not like you have to pair her up why wouldn't you want to do it why won't you want to see a bunch of numbers on your screen does it not make sense Spaz the deals just keep her at i zero or not i zero just keep her at p zero come on you don't really need okay you can always use more damage but you don't really need it all right next unit next unit for the third unit we have ulu this is a five star so I'm, eventually i expect you guys to have maxed out or at least a few copies you know a few dupes so you know for portraits it is what it is but let's get into her all which is a mass buff and it grants all allies damage dealt plus 15 percent and damage taken minus 15 percent lasting for three rounds and if the total number of burn stacks carried by the enemy team is more than 15 which it will be the damage bonus to all allies is further increased bro all right whatever like why do I gotta say more? I one of her attacks, one target attack dealing 160 mental damage. And if the target is, is in the burn state, this attack enjoys an additional 25% penetration rate. Spazadius is best friend. Both of them. Both of them. Do you guys not see how many burn? He sold it inflicts so much burn. You gotta you're gonna be having fun just laughing. This is a debuff mass attack, deals 120% mental damage up to two targets and adds a stack of burn. Well, one stack of burn. She adds burn, but he sold is the bread and butter of the team who acts multiple stacks of burn. They all add burn. Bro, you you seen the poison team. You guys see it. Bro, use this team. Have fun. I'm telling you. So this is a mass attack and it deals 120% mental damage up to two targets and inflicts one stack of burn. Now enough said. I won after attacking enemy under the burn status. Restores 8% of lost HP to all allies. And it can be a... What? Triggered once per turn? That's all I need. That's all I need. I too, when entering combat, damage taken is reduced by 8%. Self-sustain. That's all. Bro, she's actually solid. At the beginning of the round, give all enemies three stacks of burn. <laughs> all right. Burn everywhere. Bro. Come on. I'm telling you. Just try it out. Just try it out. I'm telling you you'll have fun. I promise you guys. I promise you guys. Even for her, you don't really need any um portraits either. Keep her at P0. Don't go crazy for her. Unless she's just your favorite unit in the game. But don't go crazy. And you know you can pair them up with? Yep. Okay. You guessed it. Tooth Fairy. Because Tooth Fairy is just... She's, it is what it is. It's Tooth Fairy, right? All right. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Like, I got a lot more video ideas coming. I know I said that last time. I won't be, I won't be gone for as long as I did. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.